Yo, what is up, Team Donation Man? We're back in another video, and today, man, we got a little video. Uh, seven times Mr. Beast was almost killed. Like, what? Who wants to kill Mr. Beast, bro? But uh, yeah, man, this video was posted three days ago, and we're gonna get right into the video, man. Let's get. It. Have you recorded a video that's to be released once you die? Well, people around the world are trying to hurt Mr. Beast. From having a billionaire stalker from Dubai who wanted to find Jimmy, to literally getting in a car accident because his driver died on a highway. Here's all seven times when Mr. Beast was almost killed. And first up is one of the wildest things that Mr. I Beast has ever of... experienced. Because over 2,000 people were staying outside of Jimmy's hotel, and he had to hire a lot of security and even put the hotel into an emergency mode just to simply leave this dangerous town. I can't be in large crowds. I just can't. I can't go watch a movie with my girlfriend. It all started when Mr. Beast was preparing for his Antarctica video. And since you mm -hmm. cannot fly directly from America to Antarctica, Jimmy had to... Not gonna be saying too much right now because I'm trying to get the, the, the gif of the video, you know what I'm saying? So basically he's saying he can't go nowhere. This is kind of crazy, bro. I ain't gonna... Which I understand because he's, he's really famous. He got a lot of money, but we gonna see stay in a small town in Chile and spend a couple of nights in the hotel. But before he got inside of the hotel room, some guy recognized Jimmy in the airport and asked for a photo. And since Mr. Beast is one of the kindest people on earth, he said yes and took a photo with this little kid. And I was you know, in the airport, I was wearing my hoodie, sunglasses, just staring at the floor. I was like, if I don't take any photos, I'll just go straight to the hotel room. No one will know I'm here. Just a couple hours later, Mr. Beast it must be terrifying living like this. Beast is gonna regret that picture for the rest of his life because the fan who took a photo with Jimmy posted this picture on Instagram. And here the actual nightmare begins. And now there's like 200 people outside this hotel running up and down the hallways, like knocking on doors, trying to figure out which room's me and Carl. And Some stalkers found out that Mr. Breast was in town and leaked the complete information about the hotel Jimmy was staying at. Just a few hours later, over 200 people were staying outside of the hotel, forcing Mr. Beast to come outside. Some of the fans even got inside of the hotel and started knocking to every door trying to find Jimmy. After all the fans got kicked out of the hotel, they started camping outside. The thing was so bad that nobody could enter or even leave from this hotel because of how many- I mean, it is Mr. Beast. He's famous, but give that man some privacy. Many people were outside. Mr. Beast asked the hotel managers to turn the building into an emergency mode, and he even spent over $30,000 on security in Chile. Some people outside were literally camping for a couple of days, and Mr. Beast had to delay the flight to Antarctica because of it. After that story, Mr. Beast is never taking photos with his fans while traveling. The next one is actually 10 times scarier, because Mr. Beast was supposed to be in the Titanic submarine that went underwater, and Jimmy barely escaped death this time. Last Last year, a couple of billionaires paid some huge money. Yo. Thank God. Just to visit Titanic in a small submarine. And as we know, they died just a couple hours after getting underwater. But not so many people know that Mr. Beast was actually supposed to be there. On June 25th, just a few days after the Titanic submarine sank, and all of the four billionaires who were inside simply died, Mr. Beast posted a tweet saying, I was invited earlier this month to ride the Titanic submarine, and I said no. Kind of scary that I could have been on it. This post has over 100 million views right now, and it basically means that Mr. Beast would be dead nowadays if he said, yes to the anonymous guy inviting him. I personally don't think Jimmy would be sharing dead people DMs, but this screenshot is actually weirder than you think. The entire story is very dark and gets even darker because some people think Mr. Beast was lying and these messages were fake. After somebody asked Jimmy why the message is blue, Mr. Beast said that one of his friends sent him a screenshot of when he invited Jimmy, but people in the replies keep saying that if it was actually his friend who invited Mr. Beast, this person would already be dead at this moment. So let me know what you think in the comments. And even though Jimmy is doing everything for his content, saying no to this one basically saved his entire life if he is not lying. But the story number three is actually one of the most mysterious one out here. I got caught like halfway oh and I was God. like, fuck. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Because Mr. Bleach was literally stalked in real life by a billionaire stalker from Dubai. And this story is crazier than you think. It started when Jimmy's personal private investigator called him and said that some very rich guy from the Middle East is trying to find Mr. Beast in real life. Somewhere in the Middle East, this guy hired a private investigator in North Carolina. I have no context to find me. When Jimmy asked why, the private investigator simply didn't say anything except that this stalker how do celebrities like Justin Bieber and The Rock generate hundreds of millions of dollars? It's actually not what you think.
stalker is flying to America literally tomorrow. Needless to say that Mr. Beast was scared to death once again. Just the next day, Jimmy doubled the security he already had and asked them to pick the guns and go to this stalker's hotel room. So my security went with the private investigator to meet him, and my security's just like, why the fuck are you here? Why are you trying to find Jimmy? And the guy's like, I just have video ideas. I really want to give them. And my security's like, fuck you. Why are you actually here? He's, he just kept saying it like 30 times in a row. He's just like, I just want to give him this sheet of ideas. And it's just a piece of paper with video ideas. Obviously, nobody believed this stalker. And then Mr. Beast's security decided to check all of this stalker's clothes and items inside. Bro, it's like, it's crazy because like Mr. Beast is like a regular human being. Like he doesn't buy all these fancy things, buy all these knickknacks and stuff. He, he spends his money on. Uh, side of his room after they content creating that's what he didn't find anything jimmy simply lied that he's out of town for security reasons and this stalker went back to dubai thankfully without meeting mr beast in person and we'll never know if that was a real murder attempt or just a crazy guy because you don't know like they might be trying to kill me they might be yeah, whatever of apparently when you are the most famous youtuber on earth the amount of dangerous things that could possibly hurt you increases like crazy so jimmy always have to stay home and almost never go in public but even though some people are trying to kill mr beast sometimes he actually becomes the biggest menace to himself Himself, because one time he accidentally almost killed himself, and I'm not even joking. Stop shaking, you're annoying me. This was a horrible idea. I would really not recommend any of you guys do this. In 2018, Mr. Beast was filming the video that almost became his last one. It's named Spending 24 Hours Straight Underwater, and it went completely wrong from the very beginning. I'm going to attempt to sit underwater for 24 hours straight. Mr. Beast and his friends made a plastic box as the roof and pinned it to the bottom of the outside pool so Jimmy could breathe inside of it without dying. Humans need oxygen to breathe safely and Mr. Beast got a little tube that was giving him pure oxygen from the outer world for the complete duration of the challenge. When the video just started, it was completely normal. Jimmy and Chris were having fun, ate some McDonald's underwater, and even were making some jokes. The bad things started to happen eight hours after the challenge began because Jimmy's head started aching like it never did before. And after six more hours, on the 14th hour of the challenge, Jimmy had to finish it earlier, otherwise he would have ended up dead. His facial expression by the end of the challenge says it all. The reason behind that huge fail and nearly escaping death for Mr. Beast turned out to be the carbon dioxide, also known as CO2. Since Jimmy was breathing in the same air he was breathing out, after almost a day spending inside of this little plastic box, the air was completely filled with carbon dioxide that Jimmy was breathing out during the entire challenge. The water was constantly moving. I was just getting really seasick on under there just after a while it just really got to me and I just really couldn't take it anymore I wanted to power through but I just couldn't at first Jimmy thought he was just seasick but he was never so wrong later he said that he almost accidentally killed himself during this challenge and if he didn't get up from the underwater for a couple more hours this challenge would actually be the last challenge in his life Jimmy be and that's that that sounds like a little minute ago because I don't remember seeing that and he looked young as heck so better be safe with that such a, a dangerous videos but the next story might be the craziest one because the person who almost killed Jimmy this time turned out to be one of his best friends Carl and not only he almost killed Mr. Beast but he almost did it for the entire team including Chris Chandler and Nolan the video where it happened is called I bought the world's largest that. firework and it happened during the most expensive firework in the video which cost over a hundred and sixty thousand dollars the video itself is obviously very dangerous, but not only Jimmy almost died, he even got cancelled after this story. The firework was extremely big. According to Jimmy, it was literally the world record that is yet to be beaten even after four years the video was published. The firework had a weight of 4,000 pounds, and because of Carl, it could end up like an actual nightmare for Jimmy. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at this one! I can fit inside that! Do you think I could fit my head in this one? <laughs> it's not even on. Carl wanted to put his head inside of one of these giant fireworks, and you can barely see how the instructor stops him the last moment possible. Carl says that the firework is not even on, but in case he actually put his head inside of it, the rope would pull out, which obviously would cause the immediate detonation. And since it is the largest firework in history of Earth, the explosion would be. I mean, he didn't. He didn't do it. It was just a joke. I felt like absolutely he insane. Not okay, only it would kill Carl, but nobody from the Mr. Beast crew would have survived if that actually happened. This instructor is the real hero. After Jimmy published this video, it even almost got banned by YouTube for dangerous actions. And some Mr. Beast fans even kept saying that Jimmy shouldn't be doing videos like this anymore. Not only because it's dangerous for Jimmy, but some of his fans might hurt themselves because of it while trying to do the same thing. But if you though that was it, here's the story of how Jimmy's most dangerous challenge almost oh, that killed is him. False. 
In 2022, Mr. Beast made his hardest video till this day, and it's called I Didn't Eat Food for 30 Days. I had a whole team of doctors watching me every single day. They kept track of all my vitals like these to ensure I didn't have a heart attack or worse. Obviously, it's not a normal thing to fast for. So if you, I mean, I know some some black people in churches who fast for 30 days, you know what I'm saying? That ain't really nothing, but we talking about fasting, fasting, or we talking about no food at all, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a different type of fast. 30 days straight, especially if you're Mr. Beast. Because when Jimmy was just 15 years old, he got diagnosed with a very dangerous disease called Crohn's. Basically, your intestines are inflamed, and because they're inflamed, you don't process food as well. So if I eat something, it would just go right through me, like literally within a day. And because it's so inflamed, it's like someone's just dragging like a knife across your stomach. So it's super painful. This disease affects your stomach, and you can never live the same life you had before. Jimmy's face was completely covered in pimples, and he lost over 50 pounds in just a three months because of this awful disease. He had to stay home because he simply wasn't able to go to school. And even in 2024, Mr. Beast still suffers from Crohn's disease after 11 years of it being diagnosed. This thing forced Jimmy to stick to a very strict diet for his entire life. And he even made a couple of videos about it in the past. According to medical websites, people with Crohn's disease live five to eight years shorter than people without it. So obviously it was a very dangerous thing for Jimmy to do a challenge like fasting for 30 days straight. You can see Mr. Beast looking like a damn zombie throughout the entire video. I had to fly out on day 13, so I weighed myself from home. That's 18 pounds under where I started in just two weeks. After 14 days of fasting, the doctors told Jimmy that he better stop doing it or it may cause some inevitable problems with his health. Mr. Beast ended the challenge on the 15th day by eating a burger by a famous chef, Gordon Ramsay. Jimmy said many times that this was his hardest challenge of all time. His body was feeling the worst stomach ache that he has ever experienced and his health was absolutely the worst. But the final story will change your life once and forever, exactly like it changed Jimmy's. Because when Mr. Beast's driver was driving him home, he actually died in the middle of a highway which almost killed Jimmy and his friends. The driver had some serious heart problems and it simply stopped beating for a couple of minutes. Jimmy had to put his leg to a pedal and take the steering wheel, basically just to move out of the highway because the car was still moving very fast. Eight hour drive with me and like two of my other friends. And then my friend driving, yeah, he just, <laughs> he just says, can we, pull over to a gas station, I don't feel too good. And I'm like looking at the road and I turn and look to my left and his head's just bobbling. And he's just like- Wait, is he driving? Yeah, Super. down the highway. And he, Wait, but why was Mr. Beast laughing? He's just though? like dead. His foot though is still on the gas. So we're like slowly going a little faster. Now we're going like 80 or 85. Hell yeah, yeah. And I'm now just it's like, interesting. Well, exactly. And I have my hand on the steering wheel. I'm in the passenger seat. And this is a big car with like a console in the middle. So I'm like, <laughs> driving and i was just like i we can't go 100 miles an hour We're, there's cars everywhere there's a fucking dude riding your ass and i'm like my fucking driver's dead can you just chill for five seconds can you? it was the closest thing to death mr beast has ever experienced and this story changed his life forever are you afraid of death by the way yes i it's hard because what if you just die and then you just see nothing forever you know yeah the nothingness it just fades to blackness and you're just like that for trillions upon trillions to billion squared years and it's just it's scary. Wait, so Mr. Beast doesn't believe in Jesus. He doesn't believe in a thing called the new life. You know what I'm saying? I said that wrong. People don't make me look stupid. I don't know. So he doesn't believe in God because he doesn't think when he dies, he goes to heaven. He just thinks when he dies, he sees great nothing. I don't know, Mr. Beast, but you escaped death plenty of times. You're not dead yet. Props to you, bro. Um, scary, scary story. Sorry, guys, if I wasn't really tuning in. I like to listen to videos. Not used to reacting to videos. But we're going to be back with the reactions, man. And this is number one for the day. We got to keep it going. On to the next one. Peace.